Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Before UND's series at Omaha last week, there was some special business for the men's hockey team. Shayna Munson, a UND student injured in a car crash last summer, visited the team on Thursday before practice. On June 27th, Shayna was hit head on by a drunk driver driving the wrong way down the interstate in Bismarck. The two girls that were with her, and one of them was her college roommate, Taylor Bowling, were the two girls were killed instantly. Shayna was very fortunate to survive the accident. She went through an emergency craniectomy surgery where they removed um, her skull. It, she has scar from here to here, and this entire portion of the skull is removed. And we were initially told in ICU that she had a 10% chance of surviving within the first 48 hours. And if she was to survive after that 48 hours, that she would most likely be in a vegetative state for the rest of her life. We were told there basically that the most progress they expected her to make was to be able to say yes with one finger and no with two fingers. They didn't expect that she would ever be able to speak. And by the time she left Craig, four months later, she was speaking a little bit. And now here at QLI, she has come to a point in her recovery where she is doing some walking on her own. Of course, hockey is something that she just really loved. At UND, she was a season ticket holder for three years. Didn't miss a home game. She was very dedicated to the team. And so being here today is so exciting for her. I wanted to keep it a secret from Shana, but I couldn't. It spilled out, and she's so excited. She's telling everybody that she's going to a Sioux game on Saturday night, and is just really, really excited. We just really appreciate the whole team and Coach Barry being on board with this. It really means a lot, not only to Shane, but to me. Tied for first place in the NCHC, the UND men's hockey team hit the road for the final time this season. A tough challenge awaited them at Omaha. The Mavericks got on the board first, but UND's defensive unit was very strong from there. North Dakota only allowed 22 shots on net, 11 in the final two periods to close the door on Omaha. Offensively, UND got goals from Tucker Pullman, Luke Johnson and Drake Kajula. Half a step maybe on Snugger trying to cut to the net. Snugger took it away but right to Pullman who shoots and scores! Tucker Pullman coming on a slot following up that play and Pullman scores his first goal in the last 10 games, his fourth of the year, ties it at one all. Gave it into the circle for Johnson. Johnson turns and looks, threw it to the net, he scores! And on the near side, Paganski for North Dakota has it ahead to Kajula. Kajula moves into the Omaha zone, shoots and scores! But the defense was the story as UND shut down the Mavs, including a five minute major penalty. I, was, uh, I, looked, at, I looked at Paul after uh, they called that penalty, he was skating out there, and I said, I'm going to be tired after this one, Paul. He said, Yeah, I will. And uh, that first shift, we were out there, uh, 
I think they had like eight shot attempts. I it was right in front of the net near whack at and I came off and so the bench was pretty tight, but it was, uh, it was a huge mental boost for us to uh, get that kill. On Saturday, four different goal scorers found the net. Cam Johnson stopped 26 of 27 shots to lift the Fighting Hawks to a 4-1 to win over the Mavericks. Keaton Thompson, Drake Kajula, Bryn Chiswick, and Brock Messer provided the offense for UND. Tied up by Claire, got it free though. Paganski finding it, Kajula coming high, his shot batted down and out of the air. They're going to say goal or no goal. First they were waving it off and then they're pointing at it. Simonson, Stetcher on the far side, picks it off the boards. Near side, feeds Chiswick wide open, he scores! Oh my, what a pass! Troy Stetcher to Bryn Chiswick, and Chiswick lights it up with his 10th goal of the season to give UND a 3 nothing lead. They wave off the icing as Besser races down there to try to get it. Lost it, the puck loose into the circle for Kajuli. He centered a pass, it came to Besser who shoots and scores! The sweep, coupled with St. Cloud State getting swept, gave UND at least a share of the Penrose Cup, its 17th conference championship. But this team doesn't want to share that trophy. One of our goals coming in to get that Penrose Cup, uh, we got a share of it now, and uh, we don't want to share that thing. So uh, we got to, after we enjoy this win, we got to start getting ready for Western, trying to clinch that thing all right. UND will honor its seniors this weekend, four men that have made an impact on and off the ice for their teammates. Yeah, the seniors, um, they're a special group. They're a really good group of guys, good leaders in the locker room, good role models off the ice. Um, I thought they did a really good job this year, obviously with the, the young group that we had, they really did a good job getting them acclimated and you know, really showing them the ropes that nothing comes easy here. You got to work for everything that you got. And, you know, there's a reason why our team is, is one of the top teams in the nation every year and, and why we have all that we have because we work hard. Captain and junior Gage Osmus says these seniors provide great leadership for the young Fighting Hawks team. They're, they're all a bunch of leaders on the team that, uh, you know, they, they lead the right way. And uh, um, I think our, our success has to be, some of it has to be, uh, you know, uh, given to the seniors and uh, their leadership this year. Honestly, they're such great guys. They're so nice. Um, they're literally, it's, you guys, you'd think that you've known them for years. Uh, they love to hang out with you, they'll help you with anything. I think just taking us under their wings and uh, really showing us the ropes about how, how this program works and uh, what it takes to be a part of, I think that's been the biggest thing that seniors have contributed to us. And, uh, I mean, they've been great since day one, and uh, we, all, we all really respect all four of them. As a group, though, they are not without their quirks. Uh, all four of them have a different personality that they bring. Uh, they're all their different, uh, kind of have their sense of humor and stuff like that. And, I sit by Chiz in the locker room and he's uh, he's a funny guy. I mean, he's always joking around and stuff. And uh, Saint's, a, Saint's a great guy too. He's, he's uh, I mean, he's pretty serious, but he's a good guy. I mean, you know, Dusty's just, he's pretty loud, so he can uh, he can irritate the boys. And um, Saint, that Saint, I'd say, is kind of like the father, mother figure of, of that class, I guess. He's kind of the, the guy that doesn't swear or, you know, fight or whatever. He's just kind of like the good cop of, of amongst them, so. Out of all this, out of all the senior classes uh, I've I've witnessed, which is only three so far, but um, I think they uh, they fight the most out of any of them. Um, but they're still uh, good friends with each other, uh, which is one of the funniest parts. They can be stern when needed, says sophomore Cam Johnson. Well, last year when I was a freshman in the summer, um, we have a team group chat, and they were juniors last year, but they were part of the older group, so. One day I was getting a little rowdy in the group chat <laughs> and I don't think any of them stored my number at that point. Um, and they just kind of, my, my, my number starts with 248 so um, those guys were just hammering me in the group chat, 248 this, 248 that and uh, for like the first two, three months of the season they just referred to me as 248 so they kind of put me in line right away. And uh, I remember I was pretty intimidated by all of them at first. Um, but as time goes, you see how, how genuine and real most of them are and uh, can't say nothing but good things about them. All of them are, are big leaders on our team and uh, kind of showing us the way. And They're all great guys though, so it's, it's made the transition pretty easy. With one weekend to go, UND is looking to send its seniors out of the regular season on a high note. 
Well, I think uh, I, I think the whole season is uh, you know kind of kind of for the seniors. You know, they, you gotta have respect for those guys staying here all four years, and uh, you know they've earned everything they've uh, they've gotten here. And um, the whole season is just you know you, you gotta you gotta play for those guys who have uh, who've been there, and um, that's that's what we're really laying it on the line for. And a little extra uh, this weekend just uh, as a being senior. Weekend. I mean, I think you, you have to prepare the same way you would any game, but at the only day you understand a senior weekend, so, um, you know, there's something, something left on the table there, and, you know, you're just going to go out there and compete a little harder for them. Um, you can go back to last year for the senior class last year, that game against St. Cloud, you know, there wasn't a chance that we were going to lose that game. We just knew walking to the rink, um, seeing the black jerseys on senior night that uh, we were going to find a way no matter what, so. You know, I expect the same thing this week. You know, it's uh, their final early season game at the Ralph, and uh, we want to make sure it's a positive one for them. But they know there's still business ahead. We need, we need, uh, we need one point to seal the deal. But uh, playoff times around the corner, so we're not going to be happy if we only get that one. We want to, we want all six, and we got to push ourselves to be better every day. Uh, I think we just got to keep uh, taking steps in the right direction. Uh, we've been really, we've been playing really good right now, and we just got to keep that going. North Dakota swept Western Michigan earlier this season, and UND expects a similar hard-fought series. Yeah, you know, uh, West was a tough team to play against. They play a hard style, uh, but I think we're ready for the challenge, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how things go this weekend. Yeah, um, I think Western's going to come in with the chip on their shoulder. Um, obviously, we had a couple tough, tough battles in their rank, and you know, I, they're going to have that in the back of their head, and they're going to want to come in, come in here and sweep us in our building. So. Um, you know, nothing comes easy in this league. Every every weekend's a battle. Every weekend's a war. So um, I know they'll be coming in here with a little chip on their shoulder. They're going to want a little vengeance, especially since we got to share the Penrose too. I'm sure they're going to want to knock us off our high horse. So um, you know, we got to be ready for them. We know they're going to give us a lot. So we'll, we'll be ready. It'll be a good weekend for sure. card so my code doesn't work and now I gotta try and figure out my elite, other one. Elite. Jax! What's up? Uh, I got a new card I don't know my code yeah, so I'm gonna have to get in there. Thank you. After you. Backhand club 145. 145 backhand 45. We're still getting better. Sounds good.